Welcome back to Learning with the Pastors. Today we are going to look at June 2015 CSET Math Question 1B. Are you ready to learn? Let's get straight into it. But before I get into it, if you have not yet subscribed, please do the right thing. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. All right. The table below shows a shopping bill prepared for Mistress Row. The prices of some of items are missing. Here is the shopping bill. The first column we have the heading item. We also have unit cost price and total cost price. So these are the headings, right? So let us look at question one. Calculate the value of X, the cost of one kilogram of sugar, right? We don't have any figure for X, but let us look at the table. Let us look at the, the shopping bill. And the shopping bill here, we have three kilogram of sugar and this costs $10.80. This is what we know so far, but we don't know the unit cost price for one kilogram of sugar. And we need to calculate the cost of one kilogram of sugar so we can determine what x equal. Let us calculate. As I mentioned before, we know that three kilogram of sugar equal are three kilogram of sugar costs $10 and 80 cents. That is what we know so far. So we need to find out the cost price for one kilogram of sugar. So we can write, one kilogram of sugar equal $10.80. And this, we're gonna divide this by three. So we're gonna divide $10.80 by three to determine the cost price for one kilogram of sugar. So when we divide this now, we get $3.60. Therefore, X equal $3.60. So we know the Unit cost price two work to do. However, we still have more work to do. Let us do number two. If the cost price of one kilogram of rice is 80 cents more than for one kilogram of flour, calculate the values of Y and Z. So they are saying that one kilogram of rice is 80 cents more than flour. So how to calculate this? First, I need to find out the cost price of one kilogram of flour. Looking at this shopping bill, I can see that one kilogram of flour costs $1.60. However, rice price is 80 cents more, so I can write. One kilogram of flour equal one dollar and sixty cents. No, no. One kilogram of rice equal one dollar and sixty cents. However, we should add eighty cents to this to determine the cost price for one kilogram of rice. So it's two dollars. So it's $2.40, right? So we know that one kilogram of rice costs $2.40 because one kilogram of rice is 80 cents more than flour. Look at it, flour cut. Therefore, one kilogram of rice costs $2.40. Now I can tell you y equal. Now we find y, it is easy for us to find z. All right? All we have to do is to multiply this four times 
two dollars and forty cents to get the price for Z R to get the to get the figure for Z. So I multiplied two dollars and forty cents times four to get the figure for Z. So we can say that Z equal to nine dollars and sixty cents. Very easy. So now we find the value for Y and so now we find the value for X, Y, and Z. All right. What next? All right. Look at number three. Here we have a tax of 10% of the total cost of three items is added to Mistress Rose bill. What is Mistress Rose total bill, including tax? So we need to calculate the total bill. I must include 10% tax into it. Are you ready to learn? All right, first we need to add these three items to determine the, the total cost of Mistress Rose bill. So when we add up these three items, we get $23.60. So we know the total cost for Mistress Rose bill. No, no, we need to add 10% to Mistress Rose total bill. No, 10% of $23.60 can be written as 10 over 100. It is the same thing as 10%. And then we have times $23.60. So we are going to calculate the 10% now, and then we're going to add it to the total cost. So when we calculate the 10%, our 10% of $23.60 is $2.36. However, I am going to add this to the total cost and this gives us $25.96. Therefore, Mistress Rose's total bill includes 10% tax equal $25.96. Yeah, man. So this is how we calculate problem like this. So if this brings us to the end of another interesting and informative lesson. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you have not yet done so. Thank you for watching Learning with the Postlers. See you later. I am out.